YouTube is Gabriel Jones on the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead hit that like button. Man, like the content of this channel. Go ahead hit subscribe. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis, man. Ravens just just went down. We gotta talk about it. Ravens twenty four, uh, Jets ten. Um, good game, man. Dominant effort. Uh, the defense was lights out. Defense was amazing, bro. Uh, really like what I saw. I did the keys to the game before the game started. You know, Ravens game day morning. Um, and pretty much everything, that's what happened, yo. The Ravens dominated this decimated Jets offensive line. Um, guys were all over the field making plays. Justin Matabike had a good game, man. Uh, Justin Houston looked like he turned back the clock. He had a great game. I mean, this guy's just making plays all over the field. I seen Patrick Queen get it on some, on a couple of blitzes. Um you know, so just all over the field, right? Just um, a really good defensive uh, effort by the guys, man. So uh, a couple of things, right? A couple of things we got to talk about, a couple of things that stood out. First, um, I was surprised by how K and Drake has automatically leapfrogged Mike Davis in the depth chart. That was something that I did not see coming. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um, I thought that, you know, especially for this first game, Kendrick hasn't been there that long. They were kind of ease him into it. But he played a lot. A lot more than Mike Davis. Even Justice Hill was getting some runs. So I was surprised about that. All right. Um, but, you know, let's talk about the offense. Okay. So, Ravens offense. Um, the good. The big plays happened eventually. D Duvernay, two touchdowns. I remember what y'all said about Devin Duvernay. Hey, look, it's week one. We're not going to overreact. We're not going to go crazy. But I remember what y'all said about Devin DuVernay. He had a good game today, all right? The Ravens, I'm not going to say the Ravens don't need to add receiver, but let's give the guys here an opportunity to play. This is what Devin DuVernay looks like when he's not just running jet sweeps. He can stretch the field. He can score touchdowns, okay? So good game by Devin DuVernay. Rashad Bateman, he started off slow. I was worried about Bateman dropped some passes. He didn't look like he was all there mentally, all right? But... Great play design by Greg Roman. We got to give him the credit. We got to give him credit for that play. Lamar Jackson, play action, fake rollout. Uh, bomb right down the middle of the field. Split the safeties uh, to Rashad Bateman. Beautiful, beautiful play. Um, so I like that the big plays came along. The passing game was, it was, still was choppy. It wasn't It wasn't great. I'm not going to say like, oh, this, this passing game looked like it was top notch. All right, so on to the bad. Running game looked Piss poor. Um, be quite honest, there's no really other way to say it. Running game did not look good. Um, King Drake, I think, had maybe King Drake had one good run that might have got called back, I believe, for a holding. Um, so uh, besides that, I didn't see much from the run game. Lamar Jackson really didn't look like he wanted to run the ball himself. It looked like he was more. Um, if it was a read option, I'll be. I think I only saw him keep the ball maybe once or twice on a read option. So it didn't look like he was really too willing to run the ball on a read option. Maybe the look just wasn't there. Um, Isaiah Likely couldn't get into the game Couldn't really get the ball uh, Him and Lamar Jackson really well on the same wavelength uh, I think in the, It might have been the first second quarter Lamar was throwing a ball to Isaiah Likely In the end zone But Quentin Williams got a hand up at the line of scrimmage To bat that ball down So now you, you never got a chance to see the end result of that play um, So O-line We got to go to O-line right? John Harbaugh confirmed that Jawan James Has torn his Achilles He's done for the year. It's the same Achilles that he already tore previously. Uh, tough break for the Ravens, but more so tough break for Jawan James, man. This is a guy. I said it many times before. He hasn't played football in almost two and a half, three years, man. And he looked like it. Uh, so as of right now, Patrick McCarr is the left tackle. We'll see when Ronnie Stanley can come back. But, you know, I, I feel bad for Jawan James, honestly and truly. You know, hopefully he has a speedy recovery. And, you know, we see him next season. That's kind of it for him right there. Um, but with the wide receiver group, I thought Robinson was okay. Uh, like I said, Bateman had the one big play. I just need him to be more consistent. More consistent. Um, Duvernay, great. You know what I'm saying? Touchdown score. We need a guy who can stretch the field to score touchdowns. Duvernay can provide that. Awesome. Uh, Mark Andrews, quiet here and there, but he still made some plays. He was still money Mark Andrews, man. So I like what I saw there. Now, defensively, this is where the team shined and came to life. The, the defense was really, really good today, man. 
I love what I saw from the pass rush in particular. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to do positives and negatives for the defense as well. They weren't all positive, but mainly positive, all right? The pass rush was incredible, bro. I said they needed to dominate this uh, weakened Jets O-line. That's what they did all across the board. Uh, Joe Flacco didn't have anywhere to go. I'm trying to look for everybody who had sacks today. Hold on. Patrick Queen, half a sack. Matt Abike, half a sack. Justin Houston, one sack. All right. And that's all the sacks that I'm seeing on Beach Report credited, but it was a lot of pressures in there today, okay? Marcus Williams stepping up, first game, interception, right? He goes to the press conference and say, hey, man, this, this is just what I do. I know other people may be surprised by it, but this is just really what I do. I mean, come on, bro. We ain't had the Ravens safety like that in a minute. Who expects to catch interceptions? Not like, oh, my gosh, that guy caught one. It's That's Marcus Williams. That's what he does. He catches picks. So I love that. Um, now we gotta get to the negative side. The the run defense was bad for parts of the game. It was it was it was pretty rough. Michael Carter especially got off with some really really big runs, and I was kind of surprised by it. I don't know if it was just lack of uh, containing the edge or or what. Uh, but this Ravens this Ravens defense should be run stout just because how they're built down the middle. They should be run stout even on the outside. They should be good. Uh, so I was a little surprised by how the, Michael Carter had about, I would say, three big runs at least. He could have had a, he could have had about four, three or four big runs today. Even Brees Hall got in on the action. So I was a little surprised by the Ravens' run defense. I thought it was would be better. Um, if I had to say a negative, that's what it would be, the run defense, okay? I thought the pass coverage was pretty decent. They did get some penalties on the back end, but that's life in the, in the NFL as a, a DB. Um, now, got to mention the injury on this side of the ball too, Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller got an injury um, late in the game, guarding Elijah Moore. Uh, went down, clutching his knee, did not look good. Uh, Harbaugh said there's some hope for Kyle Fuller. They're going to do a MRI, and then they're going to get the test results back Monday, Tuesday, or whatever when that happens. So we'll see what happens with Kyle Fuller, but it did not look good, honestly. Um, so I'm hoping he didn't you know, tear an ACL or anything like that. Maybe, he, you know, just something slight, and he'd, take, he'd be out a couple weeks, and he'll be back. I don't know. That's so the hope is he'll be back, but we'll see. So uh this game, right? Um the Ravens played well. The Ravens played well. Could it have been better? The slow the slow starts are still there, things like that. Things that I want to see improve, all right. Um the offense has gotta stop getting to the line with seven, six, five seconds left on the play clock, and then you gotta see Lamar Jackson do this. Cause he's trying to get the snap. Like they have to get to the line sooner. I don't know if that's Greg Roman's fault. I don't know if that's Lamar Jackson's fault. I don't know who it is. But something needs to happen with that. When the Ravens in the second half went more up-tempo, Lamar Jackson started to shine, bro. He likes to play in a faster-paced offense. Let's stop all this. Slow it down. I know the Ravens want to control the clock. I know they want to win the time of possession battle. I get that. But you got a fast-break quarterback, bro. Let him play fast. Um, so I like what I saw from Lamar Jackson throwing the ball, uh, mainly he had a couple of throws. He bit, though. He kind of short armed or he was, you know, um, uh, yeah, I won't say he was late on anything, but he has to be kind of short armed a little bit, but overall, I liked what I saw from Lamar Jackson today. All right. Uh, this Ravens team has a lot to improve when they play the Dolphins next week. The secondary has to play a little bit better. The pass rush still has to be consistent. Lamar Jackson still has to be good because this, this Dolphins defense is good as well. We know what they did to the Ravens last year. And the Dolphins are going to probably come in with a similar attitude like, we we demolished these guys last year. Uh, We're going to do it again. So the Ravens got to be prepared for that, okay? Um, but overall, I would say that it's a good game one. Nothing was perfect. You got a lot to build on. So go ahead and build on that, man. Um, let me know what your guys' instant reaction, what your comments are. What you think about the game, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just not the fan TV. I'm out.